TTRX6 here, back for another Transformers related review, and today we're going to be taking a look at part 5 of 6 of Hercules, and this is Neckbreaker, and he was not one of my favorites when I first got him, in fact the very first one I got actually had some broken plastic right here, and uh, I had to send him back and get him replaced, but this one came, and uh, he's much better. The old one also, a lot of stuff didn't hold together, like his chest wouldn't hold on tight, um, the shovel wouldn't hold together, and now this one holds really nice. Um, initially in my ratings, I rated him just above Xgraver, which Xgraver was my least favorite, uh, followed by this guy, then Heavy Labor. Um, I kind of messed with him a little bit more the other day, and... Seeing some of the different things I could do with him, I really warmed up to this guy. Uh, I still think Structor, uh, Dr. Crank, and Mad Blender are all better figures. Um, Mad Blender, yet to be reviewed of course. Uh, but this guy's really grown on me and I think I would place him above Heavy Labor even. Now, it is a shame. Uh, some people have been complaining about the black chest of course. I don't really care, it does kind of break the unity a little bit with the guy, with the rest of the guys, but it's not that bad. In terms of accessories, you get his gun here, let me take this off and you guys can get a, a better view of it here. Kind of looks like a shotgun, reminds me of uh, the shotgun from Mass Effect to be honest. Um, he comes with the purple one and the red one, I have the red one stored away downstairs and I guess I'm being a little lazy because I don't feel like going to get it. It's the same thing, it's just clear. He also comes with, of course, the fist to make Devastator because he is an arm. So, same one. It's exactly the same as the one that was on Xgraver, just opposite. And you get this visor. Now, the instructions show that he can wear this visor if you want him to. I'm not going to put it on. You can kind of get the look of it. Let me zoom in. Actually, I have both hands busy, so I can't really zoom. But I will put him up, and you can see he looks something like that when he's wearing the glasses. And I don't know, it's kind of silly. Um, it's all made out of clear plastic, and then the little end pieces are painted black, so that makes it super fragile. And my understanding of it is trying to get it on his head, most of these will crack. So you really only want to use this for the. Uh, combined mode head which let's just get this out of the way because leaving this sitting here kind of makes me nervous a little so we're going to take Dr. Crank here I'm just going to show you you just kind of pull out his head of course and there's the uh, Devastator head and it just basically slides on the top here and some people don't like the, the, the look I like it I don't really mind it so I just leave it there and then it can fold right back up and in. So that's out of the way. We don't have to worry about breaking it. Let's get him back and focus on the main event. So articulation wise, uh, you got a nice shoulder. It goes all the way around. It rotates sideways so you can get a variety of poses. He does have a swivel. The fist is not on a swivel. It's just there, uh, which is kind of a shame. but limitation of transformation I suppose so he, he, he is capable of getting you know a wide range of posability based on the arm articulation the head um, it's similar to X Gravers he can look all the way up um, you really can't turn it around you gotta it'll go like that just because of how the uh, piece that connects interconnects the swivel to it is uh, the legs you got a ball joint here that can swivel in and out for part of the transformation. Um, you do have a knee joint. It's again one of those strange knee joints like X Gravers, which I'm not a huge fan of because it's so disjointed when you want to use it. So you kind of, to me, when you're going to pose him in with his knees, it has to be really limited because if you're, you know, looking to get him all posed crazy and stuff then he looks very strange in my opinion. Uh, as you can see there he does have a waist and that is part of the forearm motion for uh, Devastator or Hercules. And that is about it for the articulation. Now, 
this guy does have some interesting things going on. If you don't like his feet looking like that, because they are kind of flat and there's not much detail to them, you can pull these out, rotate them back, and then it's up to you kind of to figure out what you want to do with the shovel here. I just, if I wanted to do it this way, I just kind of put them against the back of his thighs. And you'll see here, just put it on in, and then actually he does have the same little rotate out feet like X-Graver. A little better design because there's some silver paint and stuff on there. And you can give him the little feet if you prefer that look. It's not bad. I don't particularly like it though. Um, it's up to you I guess. Now there is a third option that most people don't seem to show and what that is it's actually molded this way so it is designed to be a third option. You can rotate these on down and then there is a like a uh, recess there and it's actually designed basically so it's gonna kinda doesn't do it very well but it's supposed to kinda grip this, these front parts of the legs here it's not very good for holding it but it is in my opinion the best foot mode you'd get feet like that and it does give him a little bit of extra height which I really like that being said uh, I also find that instead of leaving the hips like this I personally like to rotate them down just a little just to give them even more height and that to me gives them more character uh, over you know the stock form and once I figured out I could do all that stuff I really started to enjoy this guy so let me just put his gun back here and before we go on to vehicle mode we might as well bring in the rest of the crew and you'll see kinda let me put him this way first to show you when he's more stumpy uh, how he looks with the crew because I feel like he feels really small like this so we'll bring in heavy labor and you can see hopefully you can see let me move this here a little heavy labor is just a smidge taller than uh, neck breaker and here's X graver and I don't mind X graver being more short and stumpy like that and of course we've got Structor and Dr. Crank and they're all good they're all fairly similar in size uh, again the black does break up the the uh, design that seemed that most of the Constructicons carry but Heavy Labor doesn't really carry that either he has the black so it's not really that far off that he has black he's got some purple and green just not as much purple as some of the other guys. Um, I assume there will probably be a repro label set that comes out for this guy that fixes it. it. Makes everyone more happy. So if we were to take Neckbreaker and stick him in the back, you can see him. He really doesn't stand out too much. He just kind of hides there. So if I take his feet like I showed you and then the alterations to his hips up. Oh, notably also, I forgot to mention, when you have the uh, shovel like that, you basically kill your leg articulation because there's no way to move the knee. So it's not really a good place to put it. So anyway, when I put it into the way I kind of prefer to do it, you do get a little bit more personality out of them. Um, which again is one of my big things that I love about this set is just that the personality the set seems to ooze they all seem so different and really having Neckbreaker being the guy who kind of towers above the other ones it, it, it just helps differentiate and give you that added personality so I am all for the third transformation of his feet and uh, kind of adjusting his hips because that is a substantial height difference. 
So let's go ahead and get this guy transformed into his alt mode. Now the first thing I want to do, because it's going to make a difference for uh, Devastator or his Hercules mode and stuff. I want to point out that the instructions don't tell you to do anything with his head. Just leave it like that. But if you really want him to look good, you're going to turn it around like that. Um, it's just because of how everything gets covered up. If you don't, um, in alt mode, it's not a big deal. His head's looking straight at the ground. But in arm mode, he's basically looking at the side of Hercules' head the whole time. Um, so that's a big difference. And you can only really do it when everything is in this position. Once it's out of this position, you're not really going to get the, the chance to turn the head. So, uh, you can start by extending his feet out like this uh, just to kind of get that out of the way you probably can do that later but I just get it done now um, pull out the hydraulics here and they all peg into these four slots when you have everything lined up um, so yeah just pull it The next part is just to take this and unpeg it from these four here. Make sure this is lined up. That's going to be how this is going to hold in place on his chest really nicely. Um, if you find it's not holding, you may be just a little off and it hasn't pegged in. So we get that shovel out of the way. And then what you're going to do is rotate the arms so these pegs are at the bottom. Now he should be kind of like that, and you can, you kind of got to mess with it and get, the shovel is going to be in the way the whole time. So, um, we can rotate his arm here, open up this, and this one you kind of have to be careful with. I feel like it, it would easily break if you just kind of crank on it too hard. So try to grip it down by where it swivels. So, rotate his fist on in, and then close this thing on up. And that's going to make the front of the tractor there, basically. And then open that up. Rotate this in. This one fist on mine is really tight comparatively. And close that up. Now, what you're going to do is take the arms and rotate it on in. And you'll see how the front of the tractor portion has to be to make it all fit properly. And that'll go down there, and you'll see that second groove is going to basically fit the shovel. Now, there are little tabs on the back of this, and they kind of just slide underneath the cab. They don't really do any real strong pegging in. They just kind of sit there. So, and then we got to do it again for this side. Once everything is all in place like this, you can kind of peg it all together down here and then put that all right into place where it's supposed to be. And something's not lining up. There we go. So they should sit pretty flat and be pretty well pegged into place. Now I find these little tabs always tend to pull out a little doesn't seem to make too much of a difference. Now what you're going to do is just rotate the shovel and just keep that out of the way for now. Now the legs here are where you're going to have, you're either going to make the alt mode or it's just going to be a part, a thing that falls apart like crazy. So swivel this and I should have just left the blades down. Swivel his, his uh, waist like that and then you're going to go and swivel it on in. Now, in most cases, I find you can get to this, and that seems all that you can do. Um, it actually looks like the plastic is touching, but there is one more click that is hard to get out of it, and you need that extra click, otherwise it's not going to transform right. So, you do have to kind of use a little bit of force to get it. It's a tough click, but once it does, it clears the material and it clicks in. And then you look at it and it doesn't even look like 
like any of the material actually like is wearing or anything so I'm not sure why it's so hard to get that last click but anyway once you get that in you can see it's solid here and then that's gonna allow you to rotate up the legs here or the treads and plug them into these little sides here and that's gonna really tighten up the connection here and that's important because if you don't have it the shovel's not gonna hold together at all and then so now that we have that we can take the shovel down and we can flip up the top and we can flip up the or flip down the bottom and then it's just a matter of bringing up these blades to match it and then you kind of have to mess with all the hydraulics and get them all at the same extended distance so when you plug them all together basically you have the two slots that fit in up here and there's actually one at the bottom that you squeeze in uh, you can see it better on this one there's the hole and then there's the piece so you just kind of gotta work this all together figure out the lengths and that's probably the most finicky part about this blade is getting all these at the right extension length that they're all kind of working together and it's the weakest part of neckbreaker for sure is is his shovel here his plow I guess you'd call it and you can see I'm struggling so but there you go once you got it together it works pretty good and I just messed with it again so <laughs> I messed it up again there we go so there we go we got it he's got the little wheels on his tread so he can roll a little bit makes a lot of noise while doing so um, I find you do have to have this shovel just lift it off the ground just a little or it's gonna come apart um, how much you see this shovel coming apart on me now is nowhere near as bad as it was previously. So, to store his fist, and I'm not a big fan of this, you would take his fist here and kind of have it all folded up into a clenched fist. And then it just says, like, hang it off the back like, like this. And I just don't really like how that looks, so I would rather just get rid of it. Alternatively, um, there have been people online who have shown that you can just kind of stick it in here and then by way of friction, and I'm not entirely sure how they do it, I'd have to look at the pictures again, but basically you can use the fist to push against part of the shovel and it holds it in place. But my shovel, at least on my newer one, is not so big of a deal that once I stop messing around with it, it stays. So I just kind of put the fist to the side. So here he is. He's got a nice looking uh, bulldozer. And for how big he is and the fact that you can make him so much taller and everything, he compacts down really nicely comparatively. Um, you do have a little bit of gaps on the back here, like such as where the... Uh, the top part of the the cab of the of the bulldozer is, but that's okay because you're gonna have them like this anyway. So just to show you here, let me bring in some of the other constructicons here. And one thing that I can say is that I have no more space to do these reviews because of how much room the constructicons take up. I have no idea how we're gonna pull off the. Uh, Mad Blender review because quite clearly I'm out of space and there's still one more Constructicon to put on this table So there you go And again um, I guess in the order I like them actually his neckbreakers alt mode is a pretty good alt mode um, I kind of like it better than Structors um, the more you look at structures, the weirder it looks because the cab looks so small comparatively. But, I mean, it's not a, a deal breaker or anything, whereas this guy feels, everything feels better in proportion uh, than structure. Other than that, you know, I still like everybody else uh, pretty well. 
except for Xgraver, he's okay, but again, shows the limitations. Alt modes, they all look fine though, so I don't know why. It's just a, I guess that's a, a moot point I'm rambling on at this point. So, let's go ahead and we're going to get Neckbreaker into his uh, combined mode form, which is rather simple. Um, before we do that, so this is the state of the gun as we saw it last time. And we can take Neckbreaker's gun and it just attaches on here. And you can see that there's one spot left here and that's going to be for uh, Mad Blenders and the gun is almost formed. So to get him to his alternate mode or his combined mode, what you're going to do Man, my cat is leaving little hairs everywhere. Anyway, so fold up this shovel again and just kind of put it like this. And then you're going to take the treads and unclip them again. And you can undo this, this waste swivel here. Now, what you need to do is bring down this combiner port. Again, Energon style combiner port. And you can see... Now this is his shoulder. If we had not rotated up his head like we did, um, you'd be looking right at his face staring outwards at uh, Hercules. So that's why when you do it like this, you can rotate it on up and it doesn't really affect the shoulder poseability here. Let me raise this because the position. And you can see, you can still get that full range of shoulder you are going to be a little limited but that is the nature of the fact that he is a constructive vehicle so take this down and just like you would with x graver you bring these together and you get ready to plug them in and we can flip this up and we can take this shovel down and Rotate it and just put it on the back of what is going to be his arms here. So it's like this. And then we can take, of course, his massive fist. And I got to fix that like that. And just put this into the little socket right here. And then you can combine everything all together. There's interlocking tabs on, and slots on both sides. Just kind of combine them. You got to come back and do the shovel blade. And this this mode, I find the shovel blade does not hold together very well. Um, but whatever, you're not really going to see it. So, and then there you go. You've got his arm like this. And they do, you can kind of do what you want with the shovel. Um, whether you have it angled up like this or you know the other way whichever one you like I usually just keep it uh, like that And there you go you got an arm now you can also Let me get that okay I'm back it was an advertiser call you know the do not call list really doesn't do anything anyway you can take him and you can put this fist here and kind of rotate these out and this is a feature of the thread uh, tre the shovel I should say I'm losing my words advertisers make me so angry no. anyway and you kind of combine them together and fold them on in and he has some killer brass knuckles which I found no way to pose them in any way shape or form that actually looks convincing so um it's something that i don't know i don't use it <laughs> it doesn't look that good um yeah so we're just going to pretend that that is not something that they have officially shown that you can do but i see no way to get him out so it looks like he's doing a punching you know look with it so it's just it's just not good so, anyway, this is his arm mode. Um, we have one more to do, and then we will be on to the uh, 
combined mode. So, this is T2RX6. I hope you enjoyed the review. And next week it actually is going to be a shorter review because I'm not going to really be around very much on Friday. So, I'm just going to probably do like a GoBot review or something. So, we'll do Mad Blender in two weeks. So, I'll see you guys next time.